Hey everyone, Super 1000 here. There's Monkey. Hi everyone. We're going to go get my tooth pulled. They were going to do it yesterday and their computers went down and blah blah blah. And they're like, well, give me your number and, and we'll give you a call and you can come back and we'll try to pull that today. They never did call. They didn't call this morning, so she called early this morning. It's a good thing. They wouldn't have called. Nope. I've been off my meds for five days now. Yes, for his heart. Yeah, my blood thinner. So hopefully, it was supposed to be three days, but... If it doesn't get pulled today, you're going to have to go back on your Yeah, I gotta, I'll have to go back on my meds. But, so hopefully, they said I can film it, so we're going to film it, right, Mama? Yep. Well, Mama's going to film it. Yep. So hopefully, we can get this taken care of. But that's not what happened. Stick around, I'll tell you the story. Um, Aspen Dental, they suck. Okay, so this goes on. This is over, you know, several weeks here. Like a month or something. We're waiting to get in. And... I came out, never mind. So, anyway, I gotta get permission from my doctor, right? To have my tooth pulled because my blood thinners I'm on. So, we get an appointment, go see my doctor, and uh, he gives the all clear. He's, yeah, yeah, go ahead, but I, I want you to make sure you get your INR done before you go. And we'll, you know, make sure that that's good to go and if you don't hear from me, everything's fine but yeah but I want you three days before whenever your appointment is three days before that I want you to stop your meds okay I'll do that so Friday we go go over to Crystal River we get my our results and get my blood done you know I gotta do that once a month anyhow and they get sent in everything must have been fine that was Friday so um, I didn't have my meds Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is three days before Monday, which was my appointment, which was yesterday. So, after almost an hour, it was at 10 o'clock, and, you know, we got there at like 20 till, like 9.40 we got there, because I knew, you know, new patient, you got to fill all this stuff out. So, I get signed in, they hand me a tablet, and... You know, take a copy of my ID and all that. And they hand me this little tablet. I've got to fill out all this, all this, these forms, you know. And went through the medical history and all that. And um, any health conditions. So, I, uh, my health condition wasn't on there. So, I put other. And I put um, COPD and uh, hole in my heart with aneurysm. Dr. Okade extraction. And I type that in. Right? Okay, everything's fine. And all oh, once their computers start acting up. This is Aspen Dental, by the way. Aspen Dental. And uh, so finally, after about an hour, they get me back there. So I go back in. And I, you know, you got to sign that paper, you know, for what they're going to do. Okay, yeah, I signed a little paper, and so they, you know, they said, okay, now, we're going, you know, these are free x-rays now. Um, we would advise you getting a 360-degree x-ray, you know, because to check things. I said, look, I'm just here. I want a tooth pulled out. I know what's wrong with it. It's, it's cracked down the side. I know there's an exposed nerve. You know, just, I just want a tooth pulled. I don't, I don't need that. Well, it's only $150 more. I said, look, I don't need it. This is supposed to be a $188 tooth extraction, right? Remember that. She was quoted $188. Fine. So, we get all these x-rays done, and then they do the exam and all that, and 
they come in and look at it and he's like yeah he says uh, it is infected he says well, we can put you on antibiotics and reschedule to come back and or he says we can try to pull it today I said well whatever you think I said if you think you can I'd like to have it done today you know just get it out get it done just one tooth pull my tooth and he says, you know, we'll we'll try to numb it, and if it don't numb, then you'll have to have antibiotics. And I said, okay, whatever. Okay, let's do this. He says, yeah, you can film it and all that. And I'm like, cool, you know. So I get monkey back there with my phone and everything, you know. And so then this other woman comes in, whoever she is, and she's. You know, well, you know, there's a lot of bone there, and I said, I know, I've, it's periodontal disease, I already know that, I've had it, I've been, you know, I know what that's, and she was like, oh, well, you're the first person I've ever mentioned that to that knows what the terminology is, well, I have periodontal disease, so I know it, you know, I just want a tooth pull. Well, what we really need to do is we need to give you a deep cleaning. Well, why do I need a deep cleaning? so we can pull your tooth. No, I don't need a deep cleaning, which was gonna be $1,500. I don't need that, I just want my tooth pulled. At this time, I'm still thinking it's $188, right? So, she was like, well, that's what we would recommend, but you know, I guess we can, we can extract that tooth without, you know, without the cleaning, the deep root cleaning or root deep cleaning whatever and I'm like it's not going to do any good anyway and then I guess when the, the dentist guy I talked to before that was going to that was going to pull my tooth he said uh you know he said now just so you know you know um with with periodontal disease you're just going to keep losing teeth so what we would recommend is to um go ahead and, and do dentures I said look I can't afford dentures right now so what they was wanting to do was wanting to the, do the deep cleaning, $1,500, pull the tooth, and then four to six weeks from now, go in and get the rest of my teeth pulled so I can get fitted for dentures. Why, why, why would you spend $1,500 on a deep cleaning of your teeth when they're going to be pulled in a month to a month and a half? Red flag, right? Okay, well, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and try to pull it today. All right, so I'm in there a few more minutes. We're talking, and this woman comes in, and the same woman before and said, uh, something about, okay, we're going to try to pull it today, but let's go back in here to the green room, they call it. It's like a consultation room or whatever. So we go back there, and pretty soon, the other woman comes in from the office out front, you know, from the desk out front. She comes in and says, look, you know, or... or our computers are down, so, you know, I don't know if I can get you, if we can get you in today, you know, I don't know, because, you know, the scheduling, I, I can't bring it up on the computer. So, what you can do is go home, and I'll give you a call, and a little bit later, and let you know if you can come in today, or come in tomorrow. And she said, but I need you to write, you know, I need to write your phone number down, so because I can't get in the computer system to get your number. So we give her the number, she writes it down. Okay, I'll, I'll be calling you a little bit later, okay. This is two hours after, well, two hours and 20 minutes after we stepped foot in the door. So we come home, waited, 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 waited. Five o'clock rolls around, they never called. They open at 7, so Monkey gives them a couple hours this morning, decides, well, I'm going to call them. So she calls at 9 o'clock. They weren't never going to call. And she says, well, yeah, okay, our, our computers are up now. We can get them in at 3 o'clock, do the extraction. I'm like, oh, okay, so she tells me, you know, you go in at 3. So I can't start anything. You know, I can't start a project. So yesterday was wasted. Today's wasted because, you know, you can't get into something and then, you know, have to go have a tooth pulled because... I get into something then I'm probably not gonna be able to finish it after you know getting one of my back teeth pulled number 18 so I said all right so hung around all day and we go there we're early again it's it's about oh, about a quarter to three maybe 20 till three 
so we go so we go in and I start I just got my name signed on the sign-in sheet and the one woman said okay you guys can have a seat and the next one behind her said no 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 let him come tell him to come on back in here that's strange so we walk through the door come in and she was like okay we'll go ahead and um, get this payment taken care of and um, that way we can we can get him get his tooth extracted okay she says it's gonna be 330 bucks whatever so they're going wait a minute so she runs the card and um, she said okay uh, 304 dollars um, went in but 18 you still owe us 18 dollars and 70 cents monkey's like okay you guys take a check she said sure so she writes the check out for 18 dollars and 70 cents she gives the turn she goes okay let me take this back and check and she brings the check back it doesn't have the right home address on it now mind you we don't write that many checks but when we have we've never had a problem with the address it's the same bank same bank account same you know account number everything and she said well we we can't take that check for eighteen dollars seventy cents now I'm getting mad I said okay you know this is getting ridiculous I said first of all why is it so expensive monkey said well it was supposed to, I was quoted one hundred and eighty eight dollars I said, well, it's, you know, it's well over 300 now. I said, well, why is it almost doubling? And she said, well, they told me yesterday, which I didn't know, and Monkey knows, because she admitted that if she would have told me, I would have I never just, uh, I wouldn't even dealt with them. You know, I would have just walked out, because you don't give me a quote on something and then double it when I walk in. No. So... Now, I, now I'm getting pissed. I'm really, I'm really upset. I'm upset at her, and I'm damn sure upset at them for doubling. Bless her heart, she's just trying to get my tooth fixed. But you know, come on, you're not going to screw us like that because to me, that's theft. That's a scam. You know, that's bait and switch. So she said, "Well, okay. Well, look, um, I can run home and get a check from my mom. Mom will pay that 18. That's no problem." I was like, "Don't worry about it. Let's just go." She was like, no, mom, mom don't care. You know, I'll get her to sign a check and bring it up. And the woman said, well, we can't take that check either. And she goes, why? My mom's got to be here? She said, yeah, she's got to be here. we got to see her sign that check. For $18.70. Now, at this time, her mom had a, had, had a nurse here. Because the nurse came and was here when we left. And then right after that, she had her physical therapy come in. So there's no way that was going to be able to happen. And I said, no, wait a minute. You know, if you guys offer these payment plans, how do people send you checks in the mail? You don't see them sign them. Well, she wouldn't answer that question. Monkey said, well, okay then, you know, you're just going to have to bill me for it. This one started getting irate, getting cocky and mouthy with Monkey. Now, I'm getting really mad. She said, we're not going to do that. We don't do that. So no, you either give us the $18.70 or you can't get it done today. We're going to have to reschedule you. I said, whoa, wait a minute. Don't talk to her that way. I'm pissed off, you know. What is your problem? If you don't trust me for $18.70, I don't trust you with a pair of pliers in my fucking mouth. Excuse my French, but that's what I said. I'm, I'm mad now. I'm really mad. I'm upset. I've been dealing with this for six months. You know, and now I got to deal with bait and switch and all that. And she said, well, then, you know, what do you want us to do? Refund you? I said, yeah, refund this money. We're out of here. She goes, well, let me talk to the payment manager or whoever she is. And I said, no, just refund it. She goes, I'll be right back. And she walks out. And then pretty soon here comes another woman. This young woman comes in. Okay, so, um... I understand you don't have the money to pay today that's pretty fucking embarrassing because you know this is a wide open thing there's a door there but everything else is wide open I said look we're short $18 because we were quoted one price and now you guys want to double up that price pretty damn near double up that price and she said well that was from the call center that has nothing to do with this office so as you can see we can't 
we can't go we can't honor that i said is it from is it a call center for aspen dental well yes but they're, they're not even supposed to make quotes i said so you guys need to honor it then because that's what we were quoted and she said no we're not going to do that but what i can do and i said oh so and you guys don't you, you don't take any kind of form of payments well yeah we do offer a payment plan monkey's like well i just asked her and she said no and she said no we do we do i can get you taken care of it'll be like thirty dollars a month and i said wait a minute thirty dollars a month for eighteen dollars and seventy cents how's that add up she goes well yeah it'll, you know um that's how much it'll cost you to pay to pay the whole i said we've we just we just now not not three minutes ago ran the card for three hundred and four dollars oh okay well let me see now i'm getting pissed i'm like you know this is bullshit i just want to go i just just refund the money i want to go and she said well look let me, i'll take care of that eighteen dollars and seventy cents for you I'll, I'll i'll honor that much of what you were quoted i said that's not good enough monkey's like no just go ahead and do it so she does this and she said okay you're you're paid now I'll just go have a seat out out front there and i'm like what the fuck is going on here so we go out front and i'm sitting there and i'm talking to monkey and i'm like this this doesn't i don't like that somebody you know if somebody if they said it's 188 dollars could be a little more could be a little less i understand it and then even if it was well, it's gonna be around two two ten i would say okay i get it it was an estimate i get it but you know when you when you jack up the price two-thirds of what it was you know or well almost half whatever you know, from 188 to 200, and, what, 220 bucks, or 320 dollars from 188? No. And she was like, she's now she's getting mad at me. She says, you know what? No matter where you go, it's going to cost you over 300 dollars to get the tooth. Food. I said it's not the money. It's not the price of what it costs to get my tooth pulled. It's how they got us in here. To begin with and how they tried to get us to spend almost three thousand dollars more just all i want is a damn tooth pulled take the tooth out done you know i said and then the way she talked to you i said oh, you know what I, i'm done Let, let's get out of here and she goes well you go tell them then i said all right i will i went up and i said you know what i said just I, go get that woman we want a refund on our money we're out of here and you know about a minute and a half later a woman comes out and says come through the door now what the fuck do you say to me J come around here and i'll get you taken care of real snotty now okay so we go back into her little office and she's in there typing pick pack 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 on her little damn computer just to and then she looks at me and goes okay you will be refunded a week to 10 days from now with the sm I just wanted to ugh, just shove everything off her desk. So, you know, you take... See, that's why they wanted to get us in there immediately and get that card in their hand, you know. And I'll bet you damn well that they wasn't going to pull this tooth anyway. I'll bet you there was going to be some reason why they wouldn't be able to get it done. I guarantee you. So they wanted to get that paid before... Then that way I would be kind of stuck into coming back. You know, well, I already paid this money. I already paid the money. I gotta come back. I don't, I'm not going. I'm not, I'm not doing stuff that way. And I'm like, so get it refunded, so we can get the hell out of here. And then she's, come on, we'll go get your paper. And then she hands me this paper like this. Just <laughs> thought she was gonna try to slice me with it or something. So I just yanked it out of her hand. She said, <laughs> by the way, good luck. What? Good luck finding a dentist? You mean Aspen Dental is the only dentist? In the United States? What the hell? And so, and I asked her, I said, why didn't you tell me? She, cause, she said, because I, I know you. I knew you wouldn't have went for that. I said, no, and who does? Who wants to? She said, well, I'm just trying to help you. I said, I understand that, but, you know, they're robbing from us. You know what I mean? And it's a scam. It's bait and switch. You know, okay, yeah, I'll take that off for you come in, and then, oh, it's going to be 300 and some now. Why? Well, you were misquoted. But I was misquoted by your call center. One of your representatives. She don't represent this office, though.
It doesn't matter. She represents Aspen Dental. You know? So, anyway, need to say I didn't get my tooth pulled. And now we got to wait, you know, a week to 10 days to get our damn $304 back. I mean, you know, come on. That's how they don't care about you. Let's get them in here any way we can. Offer them a really low deal. Get them in here. And then try to upsell on a $1,500 deep cleaning. $5,000 worth of dentures. A tooth pull. A tooth extraction. Why? Okay, why, why are you going to pull this tooth? Pull this tooth now. Deep clean these teeth. When they're all going to be pulled out. Four to six weeks from now. So there's over, you know, over $2,000 worth of stuff they want to do, and then in four to six weeks, just pull them out anyway. I'm not stupid. They don't know who they're dealing with. So Aspen, Aspen Dental, you know, they suck. Go anywhere but there. I don't care where it is. I went to Better Business Bureau online. They're having a problem in Pennsylvania. They're having a problem in Ohio. They're having a problem in uh, Texas. And they're all pretty much stating the same thing. Once you once you get back in there and you just want a crown fixed or whatever, if you refuse anything else, all at once they can't fit you in that day to fix that tooth. They want to reschedule you. And, you know, oh, by the way, that was a misquote. So, you know, since you don't want $5,000 worth of stuff done to your teeth, um, we're just going to double the extraction cost. And I think that's what they did with us or tried to do. So they're... They're not going to get away with it with me. I mean, all I want is a tooth pool, okay? Well, it's infected. Well, then give me some antibiotics for seven days, and I'll come back, extract my damn tooth, whatever. I just want a tooth pool. That's it. $330 to have a tooth pool? No. When there's other places offering it for $150, I mean... You know, they quote you a price. I don't care who... But... And she even admitted, she said, you know, well, um, um, yeah, oh, this is what, yeah, she even admitted, she said, okay, yeah, we did look up that call, you're right, they brought the call up, and yes, they did hear that woman tell her $188 and some change, and Monkey even wrote it down, but we just can't honor that, because, you know, that's just a call center, that has nothing to do with this particular office doesn't matter it's Aspen Dental then why are you letting them take calls for you then if it has nothing to do with that particular office you know another red flag what that doesn't make sense blame everybody else and then they try to blame me well you didn't get clearance from your doctor oh yes we did and we proved that got clearance from my doctor because she was trying to blame me she says well I'm looking at your your thing here where you filled out yesterday and it doesn't say anything about you know, all it says is uh, COPD. Because she was like, yeah, well, you know, what about other? And I said, yeah, I wrote down other. I said COPD. She said, oh, yeah, right here, other. COPD, and that's it. And I said, wait a minute. No, there's more than that there. That part, but she wouldn't let me see her computer. She wouldn't let me see it. Well, that's that's what I'm looking at here. So she, it, she either saw it there and told me it wasn't there or somehow it came up missing but that was gone so they were trying to do anything after that after we had already paid to not be able to do that today well we may have to reschedule you because we may have to call your doctor you may have to bring papers in and all this blah 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 after you take my money no i'm in pain you know if i gotta wait now to go to another dentist that's what i'll do i'll be in pain it's no big deal because either way i can wait to be in pain for them to get their act together too. <coughs> I think I ate a bug. <sighs> to, uh, you know, in order just, just to pull a tooth. Just to go in, 15 minute job, pull a tooth. And you should see some of the reviews just on, on this, on their website right here in town. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, the same people having the same problem. They go in to get one one tooth problem taken care of, and they try it. The first thing they do, periodontal disease. Uh, you need a deep cleaning and root clean. It's not going to matter how deep you go with this periodontal disease. For those that you don't, those of you that don't know, what that is is when your gums are shrinking, 
and they shrink down below the enamel on your teeth and your teeth bones are kind of just exposed so what what good's cleaning that going to do well you know then we can do root canals and so you're wanting to do a root you're wanting to pull one tooth do a deep cleaning uh, do a root canal and then a month to a month and a half later pull them out anyway see that I'm not that stupid and there was a lot of people that said you know they'd make an appointment just for a tooth extraction and when they get in there they they refuse all this stuff and when they refuse they just want one thing done for some reason all of a sudden they don't have time they got to come back they got to reschedule get this done it's like oh you don't want to spend your money well you know we'll take the money you gave us and then we'll get back to you when we get a chance and there must have been eight or nine reviews I read where the the, the, the dentist didn't numb it all the way you know, he tried to numb it, leave for five minutes, come in and start pulling the tooth. And one person actually said, hey, you know, no. He was screaming, no, stop, this hurts, it's not numb. And the dentist said, there's no way that can't be numb. He says, I'm telling you, it's not numb. And he threw his tool down on, on onto his little table and said, well, you're going to have to go to a surgeon. So he had to go to a surgeon, get his tooth pulled, and they still kept his money when they didn't actually pull the tooth. Aspen Dental. Asshole Dental. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you start refusing that stuff, they start getting a little more... A little more rude to you. A little more cocky. A little more this stuff. A little more eye roll. I can't stand that. You know, you're supposed to be a professional. And you roll your eyes at me like that. Uh, that don't fly well with me, dude, you know? I mean, if I'm quoted a price, I mean, at work, there's a guy, a guy at work just all the time was, you know, misquoting prices, and, and, you know, the owner of the company says, look, you can't be doing, we have to honor that. We have to honor it. You know, we just lost $200, but we have to honor it because you quoted them this amount, and it was this amount. You know, I've done it once when I had my own shop. I, I ate $250 because I misquoted it was totally my fault. I misquoted them. Okay, I don't know where I ran out of room on my car. I don't know where it stopped at. But anyway, yeah, you know, I mean, just, I don't like that. You know, if, if you quote somebody something and it's a mistake, you know, you need to honor it. It's not the customer's fault. Um, I know customers always write, not all the time. But in this case, we were, and they were trying to blame us. Every little thing they could do, they tried to blame us. You know, uh, well, you didn't do this. Yes, we did, and we proved everything we did. And then she even admitted, it looks like you guys did everything you were supposed to do, but unfortunately, we just can't help you right now, and, you know, and until that $18.70 is paid. We'll just reschedule, and you come back and pay it then. No, we're not doing that, you know? Reschedule, reschedule. All this two days out of me and monkey's lives we'll never get back because they want to screw around they need they need to be sued i think they need to be shut down it just it's horrible anyway so there's my dentist trip to the dentist story so thanks for watching guys sorry about the rant but i just wanted to let you know asshole dentals don't go to them don't go to them i understand uh you know about one one apple spoiling the whole bunch. I understand all that, but when I'm reading Better Business Bureau and I'm finding out it's pretty much all over the United States, it's not just the one in this town. Something something's up, and they're all pretty much giving the same exact stories. You know how you go in for one thing done, you're walking out of there with a ten thousand dollar bill, and all you wanted was a tooth pulled, or you know they're trying to sell you this stuff and they're rescheduling. And they won't call you back and they won't answer the phone and. You know, like I said, last night they never called back. This morning, or all day yesterday, they never called back. And this morning, for the first two hours they were open, two and a half hours they were open, they never called back. Monkey had to get in touch with them. And then when she brought that up in front of that other woman, the manager or whoever she was, about, well, why didn't you call us back? You know, well, our... Uh, our computers were down. We couldn't get in the system get your number. I said, no, that's bullshit. Because that woman right there, that woman right there, yes, you, because she looked at me with this real, 
Yeah, that's right. I'm dropping a dime on you. She took our name and number and wrote it down so she could call us back, and it never happened. Gets real quiet and then goes on to something else, you know. But it's it's all anything that happens going to be the patient's fault, and that's it. They're just give me the money. They don't care. Just get the money that you can get out of them. Get them in here, and if they don't want to spend several thousand more dollars, then double the price we quoted them on the phone. That's exactly what they're doing. It's it's there's look on YouTube. There's several news channels doing have videos on them about the stuff they're doing, and how can they still be in business? You know, if if I if I did my customers that way, I would have been shut down first week I was open. So anyway, thanks for listening, guys. I appreciate it. So. And it's hot, it's, you know, heat index over 100 all this week. <laughs> well, yesterday and today, anyway, it was. Uh, so, anyway, I'll try to get some stuff done. It's kind of hard, you know, when you got a toothache, it's just hard to do anything. You know, you can't eat. Even if you chew on the other side, this side's still touching, you know. I mean, but you know, I'll do what I got to do, but I'm not going let, to let them screw us like that. It's just, you know, now it's a matter of principle. It, now, you know, forget the tooth. Now it's, you're not going to screw me. And boy, they just got, just totally just got upset when they couldn't, they couldn't snag me. They, they could have snagged her. I was like, no, that's it. The more I sat there and thought about it, the more I thought, you, no, they're not, I'm not paying this. You know, if I'm going to pay $330, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay it to somebody that cares about me and will do what they can and get my tooth out for me and not all this look you need you need a deep cleaning and no I don't need to hear all that you need a root canal you need dentures look I know I'm, I'm gonna need dentures you know I know it but not right I just can't do it right now and I told him 45 times look I can't afford that just pull my damn tooth that's all I can afford today is to pull this tooth you know and then all at once hmm we gotta just we gotta you know discrepancy in this I, I know you were quoted this amount but it's now gonna be this amount yeah once you turn turn down all that other stupid stuff that you don't need that really upsets me you know and then talk to her like she's a big baby you know because that woman started asking questions monkey was just standing there she's like yeah no no and she looked at monkey and said I'm asking him the questions. I want him to answer the questions. And it's, that's what she did. I'm asking him the questions. And I want him to answer these questions. Like, you understand me? And she was like, okay. I was like, what the hell? Would you talk to her that way? You know? Don't talk to her that way. Who the hell do they think they are? You know? Catch me in Walmart parking lot. Okay? And talk to her that way. It, it wouldn't happen, I guarantee you. Man, woman, beast, I don't care. You disrespect me or my woman, I'm taking you down. I don't give a shit. You know, you want to talk to me like that, you're going to get treated the way I'm going to treat you. Just pisses me off. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope your week's going great. Mosquitoes, I'm getting bit up if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, so hot, and then that rain, when we get the rain, it just makes the mosquitoes worse, you know. <laughs> We're surrounded by lakes and ponds, so... In fact, we live in a place called, they, it's called Chain of Lakes. It's not the name of the town, but this is known, this area is known as Chain of Lakes. So, all right, guys. Shea Bear, the Mental Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.